Hello everybody, it is Vintage Vinny and welcome to another one of my drop sales. If you have never attended a drop sale before, it's kind of like a live sale, only it's pre-recorded and not live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some items on the screen here, talk to you about them for a little bit, give you a price, a number, and if you are interested in anything, you leave it in the comment section the number, and if it's a choice item, the letter that I put onto the sheet of paper. So for example, like if you are interested in these pose dolls here, they are $8 each, you put in the number six, and if you want the green one, you just put in the letter G next to the number, or if you'd like the purple one, you put P for purple. And if you have never bought from me before, please email me your name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, your shipping address so I know where to send you your items. And payment must be due by Friday because that's when I send everything to the post office. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I should probably read off my rules. So I already told you about the name and everything. Um, make sure that you are conscious of where you are located in the United States. I'm shipping from Maryland, so on the East Coast. So if you're in California, shipping for something that's kind of heavy could be quite costly. So just be mindful of that, or if you're a Canadian buyer, I do apologize. Shipping is very pricey from the U.S. to Canada. I apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So like I just shared in front of you all, I have two of these brand new in the packaging 1970s pose doll, pose dolls. So these definitely scream Carol Brady to me, or maybe like um, I Dream of Jeannie or Bewitched because of the outfits. So here's that like really fun like lime green colored outfit. And then you have this one. She's oh, you're gonna lean over. Okay, you can just fall. She's got on a purple outfit, very 1960s, 1970s. And if you are interested in these pieces, uh eight dollars each on those, number six. If you would like the green one, please put in G. If you would like purple, please put in the letter P. So the next group of items that I would like to offer to you all today are hankies. I've got two of them. They are $5 each. So this one, let me just take this off and unfold it. This one has geishas on it. I really liked the colors and it is just a fantastic piece. It's got really great scenery. If you don't want to use these, you could um, iron it to get the uh, fold marks out and put it in a frame and have it up as art. I think that would be a really great idea. This one doesn't appear to have, oh, it's got like some mild, like a little mild stain right there. Uh, with vintage linens, you have to expect that because of how they're stored or, you know, maybe where they sat for a while. But this, this has some really good imagery on it. So we got that one. This one is absolutely awesome and I think would be great in the craft room. It's got all kinds of different images of an iron and, you know, needles and scissors and flowers. It's, and even the border is really cool. It's a ruler. So that is really cool. And this one doesn't have any holes. I don't see any, well, maybe I could be wrong. There's a little bit of, no, maybe that's just part of the fabric. But yes, very, very cool. And again, $5 each on those. Number three, if you would like the Oriental one, please put in G for Geisha. If you would like this one, please put in letter S for sewing. I do apologize. I forgot to mention that there is like this little unraveling of thread on one of the corners of the sewing hanky. I just forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. How stinking adorable are these little babies? These are, um, I don't know if they are actual cupies, but they are really cute regardless. We've got this little one here, crawling around, butt naked. 
on the floor. She's looking up at probably her mom. Maybe thinking, ooh, you have no idea what I just did. Or, I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. And then we've got this guy right here. And he's just hanging out, again, butt naked. And he is giving major side eye to somebody. He's like, what did you do? Or, I hope I don't get caught. No cracks or chips. They are bisque. And I have $6 each on those, number 11. Put in letter B for the bowed QP or letter S for side eye QP. So I have three awesome vintage bridge pads. All do have their issues because they are older. I have this really awesome one with a silhouette of a lady on, it looks like a lake, in a really big poofy dress. There is a little bit of damage, water damage, right here, as you can see, but it still displays nicely. And it looks as if some of the pages were torn. And it doesn't say a year, but again, just a really fun piece, and it looks like there's some water damage on the back of here. I absolutely love this Geisha one. Look at the bright colors on that. How great would that be displayed? Now it does have some creasing on the sides. And this one also does not have a year, but these have got to be from the 50s or 60s. There's the back. How great would that be displayed for spring? And then we've got this one, which is, I think, like a an advertisement for Tongue Soul Radio Tubes. Uni Universal Electric and Radio Shop in Kingston, New York. Now, there isn't a zip code on here, so that means it's before 1963. This one is in good shape. Doesn't look like it was ever used or anything's torn out of it. So that's fantastic. So I have $3 each on those, and it's number 19. If you would like, I'll put in letter G for geisha, T for tubes, S for silhouette. So I had these in my last live sale, and after the sale ended, I went ahead and looked at my invoice from the place that I got these at, and I must have done the math wrong. I got really confused for whatever reason, and I got them cheaper than I thought I did. So I did drop the price down significantly by $11. And they're just really fun chalkware parrots. Now, I will tell you that the paint is kind of chippy on them. But to me, that adds character to them. If you like rustic, you know, this bird right here would look great in a boho setting. Both of them actually would if you want a splash of color with all that, um, you know, Middle Eastern, you know, vibes that boho gives. Let me give you a close-up of each of them. So, as you can see, the paint is coming off. With most chalkware, this is very common. And there's a little bit of a piece missing on the back of there, but when this is hanging up on the wall, you're not gonna even see that. And they got little rings. I thought these were really unusual when I saw them. I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Now this one just has like the modern, like or modern, like the common wear and tear as well, but the, but it's really cool. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be there because this one has it too. So I guess that wasn't damaged. So anywho, if you are interested in either of these, I have $14 each on them. I did drop the price significantly. And they're number 16. If you would like this one right here, please put in Y for yellow. And if you would like this one, put in G for green. So how fun are these? These are ceramic potatoes. They are made by Twick Baker uh, from 1958. I don't know if that's showing up really well, but that's what it says, Twick Baker, 1958. And I don't see any cracks or chips or anything on any of these. I am selling the set for $15, and that's number five if you're interested. There are six of them, 
If you would like to know the price of them individually, that is $2.50, which I think is a really good price. And what you could do with these if you really wanted to, you could um, plot a, I was about to say plot, pot a succulent in here and maybe have them like in your kitchen. I thought that that would be a really neat idea. And if you have six of them, you could do that. Or if you want to give them away as gifts with a succulent in them, that would be even cool too. So six of those for $15 at $2.50 a piece. I think that that is a very fair price. So this is a really fun piece. This is a windmill uh, thermometer, and it's even got a rain change fair here. There we go. Sorry about that. And it's Pennsylvania Dutch. I don't know what kind of material this is. It's almost like, I want to say it's chalk or like maybe a plaster of some sort. It's a souvenir from Rehoboth Beach, I assume. Let's see if it pops up right there. Yep, Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. I just thought that was really fun. If you have a vintage thermometer wall, this would be a great one to add to it. I'm asking $10 for it and it's number 17. $10, number 17, for the chalk or plaster windmill thermometer. This is a really awesome piece that you could put on your fireplace for fall time. It is a leaf wall pocket. I would put really tall matches in here to have for when you're starting fires. It is marked Japan on the bottom, on the bottom. Well, if it was laying flat, that is considered the bottom, but on the back, I'm asking $10 for it and it's number one. There are no cracks or chips to it that I'm aware of. Just wanna make sure I don't see any boo-boos that, that I'm not mentioning. But that is a really great piece. Or if you really wanted to, you could hang it on the wall and put flowers in it. Like put a, or maybe put like a fall foliage in there. Next item is also something that I had at my last sale. It is a yellow poodle with rhinestone eyes and it's on a, it's got a, I forget the name of this chair. It's not wing back. I, my mind is fried right now. Anywho, no markings on it. I assume it's probably a Japan piece. Little bit of paint loss on the gold, but with pieces like that, it's expected. I've never seen a yellow poodle before. Usually I see black or pink or blue, but never a yellow. And I like his bow tie. He's just proud to be standing on that chair. Well, sitting actually. I've got $12 on that and that's number 10. $12, number 10 for the yellow rhinestone bow tied poodle schnuda. The next thing I'd like to offer to you all are these really awesome Westmoreland glass heavy milk glass salt and pepper shakers. They have the mark for, it says W, I apologize, milk glass usually has a reflection on it, but it does say W. And the metal on the, uh, or the what do you want to call this, the lid, very heavy metal. The salt and pepper shakers themselves are free of any cracks or chips. And if I didn't mention it, this is the grape leaf and grape vine design on these. Just expect a little bit of wear and tear on the lids because they are older, like a little bit of like an oxidized thing. But like I said, they are free of any cracks or chips. If you're interested in the set, $12, number eight. $12, number eight for the Westmoreland salt and pepper shaker set with the grapevine and grape leaves. This is a really awesome piece. It's a Collins special marking powder, pink, and it has a really great image of a lady on it. Now, as you can see, it's in good shape, but it has some issues with it because it's an older piece. Really great imagery on that. How cool would that be in like a sewing room or maybe even up on a shelf in a bedroom or even in your like powder room? If you're interested in this piece, $10, number 
$10, number nine, for the really awesome Collins Special Marking Powder. And it is full. There's powder in here. All right, I love this string holder here. We've got two ladies and a gentleman. And it is marked Japan on the bottom. You put a roll of string in the back here and feed it through that little hole. And you would use these for wrapping up food and things like that. There are no issues to it that I'm aware of. And I'm only asking $12 and it's number 18. $12, number 18, for the really awesome string holder. If I had to guess the age, probably the 1940s, maybe even 1950s. I have a really awesome, like, rustic-y bellows with a ship on it. It is a little bit dusty. The rubber vinyl itself is in good shape. I will clean this off, of course. I should probably should have done that before I did this drop. I apologize. It would be really cool if you had this on a fireplace or if you just like the nautical theme but you like that rustic-y, like, old ship style. This would be great for you. I do want to mention that the back does have some wear to the wood because of age but it will be hanging up on the wall like this and you won't even see it. If you are interested in it, it's $12 and it's number four. $12, number four for the really awesome bellows, which by the way, if you're not sure what this is, it was used to um, basically blow air onto fire to of course make it bigger. I have a really nice Christmas tin. I love the style of it. Now I will say that I did wipe it off because I thought it was a little dirty and some of the red was coming off. So I'm not sure if that's just because of age, but it's still in good shape cosmetically. Here's the inside. No dents, just mild wear and tear. If you're interested in this piece, it's $8 and it's number two. $8, number two, for the really awesome Christmas tea tin. I assume that's probably what would go in here is tea. Okay, so we are down to the last few items. I have the story of John F. Kennedy, and I believe that this came out in 1964. I think. I could be very wrong about that. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yep, 1964 by Wonder Books. And as we all know, Kennedy was assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald in Texas in 1963, unfortunately. And the U.S. really mourned for this guy, let me tell you. So if you are a John F. Kennedy fan or you just like this kind of memorabilia, this book would be great for you, and it is in very good condition, I would say, for a book from the mid-60s. If you're interested in the Kennedy book, it's $6, and it's number 20. $6, number 20, for the story of John F. Kennedy. And this book can go media mail. Uh, if there were any ads in it, they are not current, so it should be okay to go media. We've got just a few more items here. So I have a really cute ducky planter, and he has fall colors galore to him. He's got one little spot right here on his wing. He's probably made by American Bisque, or maybe Royal Copley because of the feet on the bottom, or Brushed McCoy, I'm not sure. But aside from that little spot, which really blends into the way he looks, I think he would be fantastic in like maybe a lodge or, you know, this is also good for fall decor. You could put fall leaves in here or planters are just great for decor anyway. And if you're interested in him, he's $12 and he's number 12. $12, number 12 for the really adorable duck planter. Okay, so we have, we are down to the last Four items I believe. I have another planter and it's of a kitty cat. How adorable is this? Now again I'm not really sure of the maker 
but uh, he's in pretty good shape, I would say. I don't see any cracks or chips, just normal wear and tear. I love the colors. You got like gray faded into a black with hints of red. Great for Halloween. He's $15, or she, and they are number seven. $15, number seven for the adorable kitty cat planter. Okay. I have this really nice basket here, ceramic basket. It's made in Japan. It's definitely got like a shabby chic farmhouse look to it, or even maybe like a Majolica look. It's got the marking for Japan on the bottom. It's got a nice branch and leaf with floral, yeah, flowers and birds on the edge there. Really nice piece, no cracks or chips to it. It is $12 and it's number 13. $12, number 13 for the really awesome basket. I have one more planter and this is a wall planter. I love the colors on here, great for fall. I don't see any major damage to this at all. It is made by Ardalt, Ardalt Artware Japan. I've got $12 on this also, number 15. $12, number 15 for this really awesome wall pocket planter. Couldn't you imagine some fall foliage in that? Or You could use this for all year if you wanted to. It's got colors that are used all throughout the year, don't you think? And the last thing that I'd like to share with you all today is this really awesome 1979 Inesco musical rocking horse. It does work. As you can see, it's got a lot of rustic-y charm to it. How great would this be at Christmas time? And he does rock like an actual rocking horse. Isn't that cool? Now the music box does work. I don't want to wind it because I'll be hearing music for the rest of this video. And it is marked... Oh, backwards, sorry. So we've got the UNESCO mark on the bottom, Taiwan, and it says 1979. So this is a 43 year old piece. I do wanna go over some spots on here just so there are not any surprises when you acquire it. I thought I saw something on here. I just needed to mark so people knew. Oh, right here. That's probably just from manufacturing that split. But again, I think that just adds to the rustic charm of him. If you're interested in him, he would be great for Christmas, by the way. $12, number 14. $12, number 14 for the 1979 Inesco Rocking Horse Music Box. And folks, that'll do it for this drop sale. Again, if you're interested in anything, please make sure you put in the number. And if there was a choice of something, you put in the letter with the number. So I will see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much for tuning in and making purchases. I appreciate it.